अच्छा बट वेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पॉलराइजेशन वी गोइंग टू स्टडी पॉलराइजेशन जिसमें हम अपना जो भी ए लेवल्स का नॉलेज है उसको भी बीच में विल इनकॉपरेट दैट एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी गोइंग टू स्टडी इज कंडेशन पॉलराइजेशन ठीक है कंडेशन पॉलिमर्स कंडेशन पॉलिमर्स में है यू हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंडेशन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंडेशन पॉलिमर्स दैट यू गोइंग टू स्टडी नंबर वन इज पॉलिस्टर्स so we're going to talk about as so we're going to talk about polyesters uh the second one is polyamides and then you have your uh, carbohydrates so we're going to talk about all three of them uh polyesters mein ki polyesters mein what happens is polyesters is ki you have a molecule okay if you remember all of us you had the, these uh, boxes these boxes could represent anything so this is the molecule उस मॉलिक्यूल के एक साइड पे देर वुड बी एन ओ एच ग्रुप ऑन दर साइड देर वुड बी एन ओ एच ग्रुप एज वेल एंड देन इज गोइंग टू बी मॉलिक्यूल ठीक है रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ बॉक्स ओवर हेयर और उसके एक साइड पे देर इज का बॉक्स थे का सेट एंड ऑन द अदर साइड देर इज का बॉक्स थे का सेट एज वेल ठीक है सो वन ऑफ देम इज अ डायऑल द अदर वन इज अ डाय का बॉक्स थे का सेट and this thing would repeat so after that uh, there is going to be another molecule which is going to be a diol and then there is another molecule that's going to be a dicarboxylic acid so this structure endlessly uh, repeats hundreds and thousands of molecules they're going to link up theek hai they're going to link up लिंक अप किस तरह होंगे एस्टर लिंकेजेस दिस वुड लूज इट्स ओ एच दिस वुड लूज इट्स एच ओ एच एंड एच वुड बी लॉस्ट रीजन के दिस कार्बन इज पार्शल पॉजिटिव एंड द ओ हैज लोन फेस सो दे गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू ईच अदर ठीक है सो दे गोइंग टू गेट अट्रैक्टेड एंड दिस थिंग कंटिन्यूज दिस लूज इज इट्स ओ एच दिस लूज इज इट्स एच दिस लूज इज इट्स एच वो आगे भी चल रहे हैं दिस लूज इज इट्स ओ एच एंड ऑल ऑफ देम वुड लिंक अप तो लिंक्ड अप फॉर्म जो होगी ना दैट इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक दिस के दिस गोइंग टू बी अ मॉलिक्यूल ओ देन देयर इज गोइंग टू बी सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ अच्छा उसके बाद देयर इज गोइंग टू बी अनदर सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ अच्छा वो फिर जाके दिस थिंग ओवर हियर वुड गो एंड कनेक्ट विद दिस कार्बन वुड कनेक्ट विद दिस ऑक्सीजन ओवर हियर फिर दोबारा बॉक्स होगा देन दे इज गोइंग टू बी ओ अगेन एंड देन अनदर सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड सो ऑन ठीक है सो दिस दिस स्ट्रक्चर जस्ट कीप्स ऑन रिपीटिंग एंड एंड दैट्स योर पॉलीएस्टर मॉलिक्यूल एंड दीज आर योर एस्टर लिंक्स द वंस ओवर हियर दीज आर अच्छा दीज आर योर एस्टर अच्छा दीज आर योर एस्टर लिंक्स अ and which is why it's called a polyester because these links are going to repeat over and over again theek hai ab ab pehle to popular polyesters number one examples hai ki in o levels you studied about uh, terylene theek hai so it's a it's a fabric in clothing uh matlab fabric ki kafi hai theek hai so it's a type of fabric you make clothes out of it uh ek aur example hai ki uh fats jo hai na they are similar to polyesters the only issue is ke uh, a fat molecule can be thought of as a smaller version of a polyester jiske andar ester links hote hain but uh, not that many uh, so fats can be considered as polyesters uh, so that's uh, that's another example and you you studied that in olivals as well theek hai ye dono cheeze aap olivals mein kar chuke ho bhai is business clear aisha clear hai abu rera ji sir yes ji sir acha so actual molecule uh, you can draw an actual molecule ki you can have uh, so you can have 
I said, not only this, uh, another molecule that it ends up forming uh, is a dicarboxylic acid and uh, this dicarboxylic acid over here. Um, there's another molecule that can also be used, and that's a diacyl chloride, TK, which is similar to it. It's it's uske my green box bana deto. Diacyl chloride double bond O and Cl on one side, and double bond O and Cl carbon double bond O and Cl on the other side. So that's that can also form a so diacyl chloride. So instead of the carboxylic acid. This diacyl chloride molecule can also play the same role. So it could either be a dicarboxylic acid or it could be a diacyl chloride. Okay? So that's polyesters. Uh, actual example, let's think the actual example is going to look like this. Okay, there's, uh, there's going to be, as so let's say there's, there's a ethane one two diol. Okay. One second. You had a diol, TK, and I'm I'm going to make it. Uh, I'm going to make make another molecule, uh, the other monomer, which is going to be a dicarboxylic acid. TK, side on both sides, there's going to be carboxylic acid function group on both sides. TK, so a dicarboxylic acid, and this thing is going to repeat. Uh, we have to form a polymer. So ye dono, to this is the box. Hai, agar tha, this is the box which I drawn And here the box hoga na, that's going to be this thing. Hai, so it's, it's basically any molecule just get one side on both sides. There's, there's a carboxylic acid group. And on the other side, uh, there's, there are two OH groups. So they're going to repeat. Uh, Hundreds of times, and it's going to be a diol. There's going to be a di carboxylic acid. So this thing uh, continuously keeps on repeating. link up How would they link up? Uh, first thing is OH or is H. Okay, is OH or is H. Uh, the OH and H they would be removed. Okay, so you can remove it. And the two are going to get connected. Okay, water molecules produce OH or OH. They were, they're going to get removed. A uh, water molecule is going to be produced, which is why they call condensation polymerization. Here, the H2O molecule is going to be produced, and uh, the same thing happens uh, at this point as well. Uh, the OH and the H are going to get removed. Beach, they're going to link up, and H2O molecule would be, it's going to be produced. Okay, so that's that's how ester links are going to be produced. Is uh, and these are the boxes that I. Uh, represented earlier. TK similarly. Um, uh, sir. Yes. Sir, since for every polymer form, there is a molecule of water being formed. Do we ever have to state the number of molecules of water, like the moles? Sometimes, uh, sometimes in moles, I I do remember one question, which uh, I mean, although it's it's not going to be asked, TK, because there could be thousands of. Uh, Molecules reacting together. Okay. Uh, like remember, the number of water molecules is. Uh, I remember one question. Okay, just one question where, where they actually uh, tried to figure out. They told. Uh, they said that they were let's say uh, uh, 1.25 moles of let's say the monomers. So we have a ratio that uh, the amount of water that's being produced is one less than the number of monomers. Okay. If you have four monomers. And they link up the amount of waters that water molecules that are produced, that would be three. Okay, clear? Yeah. Okay, but I remember there was one Moe's question, probably an old question, TK, where you had to uh, but I'm not sure if it was an A2 question. Uh, like they, they had uh, they had this. 
ठीक है मोस्ट का क्वेश्चन था लेकिन वो अच्छा यू यू नॉट यू नॉट गोइंग टू बी आस्क मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस व्हेन वी डू पास पीपल यू विल सी के इट वुड ऑल बी अबाउट अबाउट जस्ट ड्राइंग द पॉलीमर ठीक है तो ये हो गया कंडेंसेशन पॉलीमर द फर्स्ट टाइप पॉलीएस्टर्स अब इसके अंदर आई एम गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड अ फ्यू थिंग्स एंड दोस थिंग्स आर के इफ यू लुक एट अ पॉलीएस्टर चेन uh we going to talk about the properties of polymers theek hai to ek theek hai remember ke this by looking at the polymer you can actually i say you can actually figure out ke how would the polymer behave there are different types of polymers theek hai so properties of polymers and there's a thing called cross linking and branching i said now think of a polymer as this very long chain theek hai so there is this there is this polymer chain uh just say upar bani hai theek hai it's a it's a bunch of atoms they, uh, it's a group of uh, molecules that are that have all linked up theek hai so all polymers are going to be the same thing it's going to be like a like a thread theek hai they all tied up and they are linked up uh तो उसमें इस तरह करके ना इट्स गोइंग बी इट्स गोइंग बी अ चेन एंड देयर वुड बी अ बंच ऑफ मेनी डिफरेंट चेन्स ऑल इंटैंगल विद ईच अदर ठीक है सो दैट्स दैट्स द ओवरऑल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ ऑफ अ पॉलीमर ठीक है जैसा अगर आप ना वो ये टेरिन मैंने क्या कहा था फैब्रिक में यूज होती है ना किसी भी धागे को देखो ना इफ यू टेक अ थ्रेड एंड लुक एट इट क्लोजली यू वुड सी के इट्स इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रैंड्स ठीक है माइक्रोस्कोप माइक्रोस्कोप में रख के देख लो या वैसे इफ यू कैन ज़ूम इन uh um uh, probably i think uh wo isi tarah hoga theek hai ek shayad google image dekh lete hain ke shayad ha ye ye nazar aa raha hai theek hai uh so that's your normal ye jo uh dhage hote hain na kapdon ke theek hai that this is how they look they basically a bunch of chains that uh bunch of very tiny uh polymer microscopically bina you know, ye to phir kafi bade scale ke upar nazar aa raha hai lekin microscopically so, scopically it's 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 a lot of uh, different different polymer chains that are all entangled with each other theek hai acha now we we are talking about properties theek hai properties of polymers how do you figure out what the property is going to be uh lots of things first thing Okay, if it's a if it's a non-polar chain, chain. Non-polar का मतलब है कि there is no polarity in the chain. तो उसके अंदर क्या होगा? Van der Waals forces. ठीक है? I'm talking about अब हम general chemistry जो हमने पढ़ी है ना आज तक. We're going to talk about it. So if you have a non-polar chain, a non-polar chain has van der Waals forces, which are relatively. I said they are relatively weak. ठीक है सो दैट्स अ दैट्स अ नॉन पोलर चेन अच्छा रिलेटिवली वीक है उसका मतलब है कि इफ यू इफ यू अप्लाई अ फोर्स तो ये जो चेंज है ना यहां पे दे कुड बी डिसएंटैंगल्ड इजीली लाइक इफ यू पुल इट तो वो थ्रेड्स जो है ना दे कुड कम आउट तो इफ इफ द इफ द चेंज आर नॉट अट्रैक्टिंग ईच अदर वेरी स्ट्रांगली तो वैंडरबोल्स फोर्सेस आर रिलेटिवली वीक व्हिच मेक्स योर ऑल ओवरऑल पॉलीमर एज सो द पॉलीमर इज गोइंग टू बी वीक stretchable hoga you can easily sort of break it so that's that's one way non polar chain uh then you have polar chains now if you have polar chains uh, what's going to happen in polar chains is ke uh, permanent dipoles honge now or when you have permanent dipoles ab isko dekho ke ये जो ऊपर हमने पॉलिमर चेन्स बनाई है दीज आर पोलर क्योंकि ये जो कार्बन और ऑक्सीजन का जो बॉन्ड है ना दैट दैट हैज पोलैरिटी उसमें ऑक्सीजन वुड हैव वुड इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव सो दैट्स गोइंग टू बी पार्शियल नेगेटिव एंड द अदर वन वुड बी पार्शियल पॉजिटिव सो देयर इज गोइंग टू बी देयर इज गोइंग टू बी पोलैरिटी इन द चेन तो अगर पोलर चेन होगी तो एक पोलर एक पोलर चेन दूसरे पोलर चेन को ज्यादा स्ट्रांगली अट्रैक्ट करेगी ठीक है सो सो 
So the result would be that if you have permanent dipoles, then stronger attraction between chains. And permanent dipole ki strength will be depend karta hai. Theek hai? So it's, there's going to be stronger attraction between chains. And if they are stronger attraction between chains, uh, the overall structure kya hoga? strong hoga. So it's going to be a strong polar, strongly uh, a strong polymer that would be formed. Theek hai? Aisha clear? Mariam clear hai? Nifuz? Abu Rara? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, pehle to do cheeze, ye do cheeze, ke if you have a non-polar chain, so the overall polymer, you know, chains hongi, ek dusse ke saath, they won't be strongly attracted. If they are strongly attracted, polarity hongi, so there's going to be, uh, as a khali permanent dipole, the hydrogen bonding is also basically polar. So you can, so it depends on the polarity. Hydrogen bonding week was one other option. I said, so it could be hydrogen bonding as well in a polar chain. I said, then you have uh, some polymers would be water attracting. Okay. Uh, sponges for dishwashing, etc. They, they are water attracting, they absorb water. Uh, why do they absorb water? Because they can form hydrogen bonding. Hi, they can form hydrogen bonds. So if a molecule has, has a lot of, it can form hydrogen bonds. Okay. For example, the polymer has OH groups. OH or NH2. Hydrogen bonding is also when OH is bonded or NH is bonded. Then uh, uh, these groups can form hydrogen bonds. Achha, it can form hydrogen bonds and and attract water. Okay, so they have they're capable of attracting water. Uh, for example, there's a there's a chain. Or chain mein na kahi side pe OH ka group nikla hai. Ab OH ka group jo hai na that's uh, highly polar. It's partial negative. H is partial positive. Theek hai. So if there's a water molecule that's going uh, nearby, the water molecule would be strongly water molecule jo hota hai O or H hota hai. O has lone pairs, and it is strongly partial negative. So wo jo H hoga na that would be attracted. Uh, and this H is positive, so this H would be attracted to the lone pairs on oxygen. The water molecules, you know, they're going to be attracted to it. So this is called hydrophilic. There's a word, there's a word that is frequently used, and that is hydrophilic. So that, so that this entire chain, uh, this entire huge chain, that's, that's continuing, it's hydrophilic. If there are only Van der Waals, only Van der Waals. Van der Waals is not going to attract water. Okay, so Van der Waals is non-polar, doesn't attract water. So you have seen everyday polymers, okay? Uh, that, uh, you have a table, you have uh, Table kya kero? Simple wo plastic ka bag hai jisme shopping karte ho. Thik hai polythene bags. Uh, they are completely non-polar. They don't they don't have an attraction for water, so they don't attract water molecules. Because polarity koi nahi hai. Asa, so one is hydrogen bonding. Tha, wait, different properties are based on based by based on studying uh, what the chain has. Ab jisse ye wali chain maine yahan pe draw ki hui na this chain over here. It's got the OHK groups near, which means it's not going to be attracting water very strongly. Uh, hydrogen bonding any kasefti chain. So it's not going to attract water molecules. And if it's not going to attract water molecules, uh, to ye, obviously, up is but the donor sponges are going to be banal, okay, okay, because no water absorbent properties in this case. As a moving on, there's another thing which is called branching. So the question is, 
branching and side chains. So how do branches and side chains affect the properties? Achha, affect the property of the polymer. Ek mene example jo na, wo upar shayad hai, hai, which is this one. If you look at this molecule over here, remember that all the carbon atoms were connected in a line, except for there was a branch coming out over here. So polymer ki jo chain hoti hai, uske se, there could be branches, you could have many different types of organic molecules. So there could be branches that would be coming out of it. So ye mene chains banayi hai, inke na koi branches nahi hai. These are completely straight chains. Manab, if I, if, again, if I pick this one up, so, so it has no branches, nothing coming out of it. It's a, it's a straight chain. Okay. Branches could just throw on They're going to be carbon uh, atoms in a line. Okay. Let's say this is the, this is the polymer and there would be carbon branches that would be coming out of it. There would be carbon. Even if it's a rough overview, the idea is clear. Is this clear? Aisha, clear? Yeah. Abu Rara, clear? Branches, side chains, etc. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Achha, yes, sir. So, what will the effect be? Let's say there's a chain which has no branches and they're all kind of entangled with each other. I say, if disentangle them, no, that's easy. Okay, you just have to pull this out and we'll slide cut the side for the But on the other hand, if you had now imagine ke, single strands and they're not a single strand, they have these branches coming out of them. Okay, so there's this branch, there's this branch, there's this branch. Okay, so you have all these branches coming out of it. The first problem is ke, the chains would not be close to each other. Because the branches are space, chahiye, you know, side pe jo branches. Hai. So if there's another branch, that branch would be slightly further away. Uski bhi apni side branches chal rahi hongi, hai? So the two chains would probably not be very close to each other. Because uh, the branches are on side pe ek dusre ko push kar rahi hongi, hai? They need space. Uh, so they would push each other away. Uh, let's say throw about the Entangle bhi hoonge, unki branches ek ke saath na, they would be. Achha, lekin, tak aake na, stuck ho jayega, hai? Uh, Similarly, if there's another chain over here, to uski bhi, let's say branches and side chains hai, and they would all be entangled with each other, hai? Mehfuz, is this idea clear? Mariam, clear? Yes, sir. Achha, the first thing is, these uh, branches, hai, side chains, Achha, branches and side chains uh, don't allow the chains to be really close together. Achha, they, they don't really allow the chains to be uh, close to each other. And the other thing is, okay, if the chains are not going to be close to each other, uh, so what would happen? It's going to have low density, less packed together. Well, both are polymers. For example, if you look at styrofoam, styrofoam is so light. Okay, why is it so light? Okay, probably... Uh, it has so many branches okay, the chains, this example is that the chains are kind of all grouped together very, very closely. Now they can't be grouped together very closely. So this was a low density over the chains would have gaps. There are going to be gaps in between. Okay, so let's say there are gaps over here. I said the other thing that's going to happen is the chains would lock each other up. But they, this chain is a middle valley chain. And if I highlight this, it cannot slide now. 
पिक करूँ ना मैं एंड आई वॉन्ट इट टू स्लाइड द प्रॉब्लम इज के वो इट वोट बी एबल टू स्लाइड क्योंकि ये चेंज द साइड चेंज दे वुड सॉर्ट ऑफ गेट इन टैंगल्ड यू गेट माई पॉइंट तो तो नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज के दिस साइड चेंज आर काइंड ऑफ इंटरलॉकिंग विद ईच अदर इसके अंदर वो इशू नहीं था इसके अंदर अगर मैंने स्लाइड करना है ना वो आराम से निकल जाएगा स्लाइड कर जाएगा सो नाउ द चेंज आर काइंड ऑफ इंटरलॉकड सो सो साइड चेंज एंड ब्रांचेज create interlocking and chains are not able to slide easily so they're not able to slide easily which actually kind of makes it stronger and more rigid or st- actually stronger stronger word jo hai na wo main use nahi karta i'm going to say it's going to make it rigid kyunki strength jo hai na wo to uske upar depend karti hai ki how uh, strongly are they attracted to each other so uh, strength ki baat nahi karte they would make, instead of being soft they're going to be rigid so styrofoam is just one example styrofoam mein kya hota hai ki it's very light why because uh, Uh, lots of gaps created because of branches, and the other thing is the side chains kind of inter interlock with each other. So this this styrofoam jota hai, wo rigid hota hai. You can't really bend it or mold it. Baki plastics jota hai na, unko ab bada easily mold kar sakte ho. Okay, for example, even PVC ke pipes jota hai, plastic pipes. You can you can kind of bend it. Styrofoam ko bend nahi kar sakte, because the the chains are all interlocking with each other. Uh, बहुत सारे अदर प्लास्टिक्स हैं विच कैन बी मोल्डेड क्योंकि उनकी जो चेंज है ना दे कैन सॉर्ट ऑफ स्लाइड अक्रॉस ईच अदर सो दे नॉट स्ट्रॉन्गली इन टैंगल विद ईच अदर इज दिस आइडिया क्लियर मरियम क्लियर है महफूज अबू रैरा आयशा क्लियर है ये सारी बातें जी सर अच्छा देन तो ये एक चीज याद रखना कि ब्रांचेस का फायदा क्या होता है कि वन इज इट क्रिएट्स अ लो डेंसिटी पॉलीमर and the other one is ke it the interlocking produces rigidity i said then there is another thing called cross linking acha cross linking is similar to uh, this thing jo bhi humne padha acha cross linking and cross linking molecules so what what is cross linking cross linking mein hota hai ke pichle mein to bas but the both chains they were kind of they were all separate theek hai they were not tied up but the chain independent thi chain independent thi unki jo side chains thi they were they were kind of uh, stuck with each other cross linking mein hota hai ki imagine ke there is a as i imagine there is this chain and there is this other chain theek hai this chain has a carboxylic acid group coming out of it as a side chain This chain over here has an NH2 group that's coming out. Now, what's going to happen is that those chains are they they not only interlink but they bond with each other. Carboxylic acid is an acid, so acid which is that it loses H plus one ions, forms minus one ion. NH3, NH, the nitrogen is a base, so it ends up forming NH3 plus one. So, in between, what will happen? Both chains they would attract each other at this point. and they would form an ionic bond theek hai so an ionic bond could be formed between the chains this ka matlab hai both chains have now kind of uh, locked with each other and they've actually bonded with each other so now that makes that also makes it more rigid as a not only this there could be any any type of bond that could be formed between chains theek hai so cross linking is Wait, sir. Did COOH give its H plus to NH two? Yes. Okay. ठीक है वो base है ना वो amines वगैरह का हमने पढ़ा था ना base bases का comparison amines भी आया है ठीक है तो वो base है that accepts H plus one ठीक है अच्छा तो cross linking का पढ़ लो कि मैंने नहीं two chains and the groups bond with each other.
I said they bond with each other, so that's uh, when they need two chains and they groups, they bond with each other. And it could be any type of bond, not just ionic bond. It could be uh, it could be uh, it could be uh, there's a there's a carboxylic acid group on one side, and on the other side, there might be an alcohol group as a side chain. So what you are doing is you have OH lose, you have an H lose, karega, and they would form an ester link. So they might form a covalent bond. So any type of bond, whether it's covalent or ionic or any type of bond, if two things from both chains they react with each other and they sort of link up. So any bond formation. Okay, so that's. That's uh, cross-linking. I said cross-linking makes the thing uh, extremely rigid. Okay. Chains, up to chains, because we could be better chains slide. Kar sakte thi. This is a case when the branches can the, the chains were still kind of, they were, they were not bonded to each other. They were intermolecular forces. And because of the structure, the chains were sort of entangled with each other. They can agar force use karte tha, wo phir bhi slide. Kar sakte thi. They, it was more difficult to slide. Up to slide kareng hi nahi, kyunke, they have now interlocked. So chains cannot slide, but a bother of force apply can be So chains cannot slide now and they have interlocked. And this makes the thing extremely rigid. I say ye concept can't be used with glues can they use with the especially glues or super glues for that. This is what happens actually. Initially, uh, solvent uh, what it does is the solvent keeps the chains far apart. Eventually, the glue dry up, the solvent evaporates. And when the solvent evaporates, the chains come close together and they start forming bonds with each other. And that's how cross linking happens. Or glue join up, we see that calm can see it. Okay, you clear it. Abu Rena, is this clear? Aisha, clear it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, ye me bas paise idea de raha hu ki cross linking ka idea, iska idea ki side chains kya karti hai polymer ko. Side chains nahi hongi to polymer kis tarah behave kar raha hoga. Uske na fir polymer chains so the polarity or non polar hydrogen bonds form kare so different properties hoti hai us polymer ki kiya bhi tak humne sirf ek hi hai theek hai example lekin this is important you will be asked a lot about the properties of the polymers as well lekin wo general questions honge theek hai you need to know all of this ki ye sari cheeze kya keh rahi hai theek hai uh we'll cut you with this then next class theek hai is pe koi question to nahi hai kisi ka mariam is this clear Yeah. Okay. Aisha, clear up your question. Yes, sir. Okay, then take care of the office.